Now let's look at another rhythm exercise. In this exercise, you can see that the each bar will have three beats. And we can see all the different types of notes here. These are quarter notes and they're worth one beat. These are eighth notes and they're each worth half a beat. And this is a dotted half note, which is worth three beats. So what we do to make it easier to count is we pick the one that that is broken down this into the smallest unit and in this case it's these two eighth notes so remember two eighth notes is one beat so if we were looking at this keeping it very simple like pies okay so these are each worth a pie each quarter note is a pie so we're just doing fractions here And this is a pie, actually three pies, because a half note, dotted half note is three beats. So when we go to here, we notice that the pie has just been cut in half. So we should give each of these notes a name. So we would usually look at this and we just break it into two, ha uh, two halves. So to do that, we put an and here. And then the first half, will be the uh, the beat number. So let's start from the very beginning. So this is one, beat number one. And if we break all these into halves, just to make it all consistent, it will really help in our counting later. Let's use a different color. So this would be one and two, and three and one and because this is the next bar so we fill this up this is on the second beat so it'd be two and we have the and three and and then over here we just cut continue on with one and two and three and so notice that the bars still each bar still has three beats but the because we subdivided it um, when you count, it should be much more even. So I'll just clap it out for you right now and you'll understand a little bit better, I think. So starting from the very beginning, one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So you can hear that everything is very, very stable. Um, the tempo does not get faster or slower, um, and it's because we subdivided each of the, uh, the notes. Um, you can use this uh, whenever you see something that has eighth notes, a piece that has eighth notes in it to help you count uh, more precisely.